Rookie of the Year. Almost every sport has this award. It distinguishes which individuals in their first year had the best season. Where the NFL, NBA, or Major League Baseball have several hundred rookie entries each year, in motorsports, you can usually count the number of rookies on one hand, and the fact you've earned a seat among such a select group is often reward enough. In NASCAR, the quality and quantity of rookies varies from year to year. There have been some notable rookies of the years throughout NASCAR history, such as Richard Petty, David Pearson, Dale Earnhardt, Rusty Wallace, Alan Kowicki, and Jeff Gordon. However, there is one stretch of rookies I dare say will never be seen again in NASCAR. These Rookie of the Years would go on to produce seven championships and 305 wins. How about the crown jewel races? I'm using the five crown jewel race metric of the Daytona 500, Coca-Cola 600, or World 600 for the old school fans, the Southern 500, the first Talladega race, which to make this simple, I would just call it Spring Talladega, and the Brickyard 400. Over their careers, they won eight Daytona 500s, seven Coca-Cola 600s, seven Southern 500s, four Spring Talladegas, and 10 Brickyards. A few of these drivers are still racing today, so all these stats are as the completion of the 2023 season. So which group of rookies am I talking about? 1999 through 2006. These drivers entered NASCAR at the height of its popularity coming out of the 1990s, where the sport had transitioned from regional to national. Talent from all over the country began to focus more and more on NASCAR as their destination, and it began with 1999 Rookie of the Year, Tony Stewart from Indiana. After winning an IndyCar championship, he was lured away from open wheel to stock cars, securing a full-time ride with Joe Gibbs Racing. He found early success in his rookie year with three wins, 12 top fives, leading 1,223 laps, and fourth place in points. Stewart would retire after the 2016 season, having won 49 races, two Brickyard 400s, and three championships. 2000 Rookie of the Year, Matt Kenseth from Wisconsin. He got everyone's attention in 1998 at Dover while filling in for Bill Elliott and finishing sixth. He would beat out Daryl Earnhardt Jr. for Rookie of the Year as Kenseth finished with one win, four top fives, led 162 laps, and 14th place in points. He would retire after the 2020 season, having won 39 races, two Daytona 500s, one Coca-Cola 600, one Southern 500, one championship. 2001 Rookie of the Year, Kevin Harvick from California. This is probably one of the most well-documented, well-known rookie years in NASCAR as Harvick would take over for Dale Earnhardt following his death during the Daytona 500. Scoring his first win in just his third race, he would beat out Kurt Busch for Rookie of the Year as Harvick finished with two wins, six top fives, led 374 laps, and ninth place in points. He would retire after the 2023 season, having won 60 races, 10th on the all-time wins list, a career grand slam and crown jewels, with one Daytona 500 win, two Coca-Cola 600 wins, two Southern 500 wins, one Spring Talladega win, three Brickyard wins, and one championship. 2002 Rookie of the Year, Ryan Newman from Indiana. He earned the nickname Rocket Man early on with six poles in his rookie season. Most notable, he would beat out seven-time champ Jimmy Johnson for Rookie of the Year as Newman finished with one win, 14 top fives, led 754 laps, and sixth place in points. Newman's last full season was in 2021, but appeared in a few races in 2023. Thus far, he has accumulated 18 wins, 117 top fives, 51 poles, led 4,863 laps, one Daytona 500 win, and one Brickyard win. 2003 Rookie of the Year, Jamie McMurray from Missouri. In one of NASCAR's biggest surprises, McMurray would win a race before his rookie year as he filled in for an injured Sterling Marlin at Charlotte in 2002. This was just his second start in Cup. In 2003, he would beat Greg Biffle for Rookie of the Year as McMurray finished with five top fives, 13 top tens, led 120 laps, and 13th place in points. 
he would retire after 2021, maybe the weakest among this group, but nevertheless, a solid career with seven wins, 63 top fives, led 1,903 laps, one Daytona 500 win, and one Brickyard win. 2004 Rookie of the Year, Casey Kane from the state of Washington. Right out the gate, there was a fight for Kane as he was contracted with Ford, but Everham tagged him to replace Bill Elliott in the number nine Dodge full time in 2004. Ford filed a lawsuit that Kane would win, allowing him to drive for Dodge. In 2004, he would beat out Carl Edwards for Rookie of the Year as Kane finished with five second place finishes, 13 top fives, four poles, led 692 laps, and 13th place in points. NASCAR really cranked up the marketing campaign for Kane, hoping he would deliver in ticket sales and viewership. I doubt anyone could have met the lofty expectations placed upon him, but he managed to carve out a very respectable career with 18 wins, 93 top fives, 27 poles, led 4,678 laps, three Coca-Cola 600 wins, and one Brickyard win. 2005 Rookie of the Year, Kyle Busch from Nevada. How good was Busch? He began racing at 16 in the truck series before making his way to Hendrick Motorsports. He would not disappoint his rookie year, becoming the youngest driver at 19 years and 317 days to win a pole. Busch would finish his rookie year with two wins, nine top fives, led 362 laps, and 20th place in points. Bush has set many records during his career in Cup, becoming the youngest driver to qualify for the chase in 2006. He holds the record for most consecutive seasons with a win at 19, the first driver to win a Cup race and championship in a Toyota. As of the completion of the 2023 season, Bush is still going strong, having accumulated 63 wins, ninth on the all-time wins list, 241 top fives, 33 poles, led 19,000, 122 laps and won two championships. He only lacks the Daytona 500 for completing the career Grand Slam among the crown jewels with one Coca-Cola 600 win, one Southern 500 win, two Spring Talladega wins, and two Brickyard wins. And finally, Rookie of the Year 2006, Denny Hamlin from Virginia. He made an immediate impact by winning the first event of the season, the Budweiser Shootout at Daytona in 2006. You may ask, how did Rookie get into the shootout? He did so by winning a pole at Phoenix in 2005 when he was only running a few races that year. Beating out Martin Truex Jr. and Clint Boyer for Rookie of the Year, Hamlin would sweep the Pocono races en route to finishing with two wins, eight top fives, three poles, led 418 laps, and third place in points. Right out of the gate, he was in the championship hunt. This would continue throughout his career. Arguably, Hamlin has replaced Mark Martin and Junior Johnson as the best driver to have never won a championship. But he's not finished, and based on his 2023 season, he will be right back in the hunt for that championship in 2024. As of the completion of the 2023 season, Hamlin has accumulated 51 wins, 13th on the all-time wins list, 222 top fives, 40 poles, led 14,352 laps, three Daytona 500 wins, three Southern 500 wins, and one Spring Talladega win. And that will do it for this In the Spotlight, Yellow Stripes, the Rookie of the Year. I will see you in the next video.